Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here, and I'm here to show you how to get unlimited rare candies in Pokemon Platinum relatively easy. So let's get into this. Now before I begin, I just want to say that this only works in Platinum version. You can't do this in Diamond and Pearl version. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to this Pokemon Mansion, which in order to get here, it's pretty simple. You want to go to Route 212 right underneath Heart Home and get over to the mansion. Pretty straightforward. Inside the mansion, and like I said before, this is platinum only, it does not work in diamond and pearl, you can come over here to these maids, and they say um, to do a 5 not maid knockout challenge, and they give you a set number of turns to use to knock out all the maids clefairies, because they each have one clefairy. Once you beat them all in the exact number of turns, if you go under or over, it won't count, but if you beat them all in the exact number of turns they tell you to, it will have you battle their, uh, I think, owners, the owners of the mansion. And they uh, have a level 35 Blissey, and the Blissey's holding a rare candy. So what you're going to want to do is thief the rare candy, but let me get back to that later. It seems relatively easy to beat all five of these maids in the number of turns, but it's a lot harder than you think, because each of their Clefairies has the move Endure, and that makes it so that you can't kill them in one turn, when sometimes the knockout challenges require you to use only five turns to knock out all five of them. So you'd have to beat them all in one turn, but Endure stops that. I found a workaround for that. So what you're going to want to do, and I would recommend using a specific Pokemon, you can get the move either uh, Fire Spin or Whirlpool. And I would recommend Fire Spin because there's a specific Pokemon that has a really high special attack stat that can get Fire Spin. And that Pokemon is Moltres. So I got this Moltres in Heart Gold version, and I would recommend getting it in a version that's not platinum you can catch it in platinum but it makes it easier to not catch it in platinum and catch it somewhere else so i would recommend catching it in either fire red leaf green heart gold soul silver or a different platinum game that you're not currently using the reason i would recommend catching these pokemon in a different game is because if you train a pokemon that has a different id number than you it gets 1.5 times the experience when you battle pokemon and if you give it a lucky egg, it gets double XP, which is really, really useful. So I got this Moltres at level 50, as you can see, and it's level 87. It did not take me that long because I have lucky eggs. A good way to get lucky eggs is either Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum, but again, this only works in Platinum. Let's go to Route 209, which is just right of Heart Home City. Use Pokey Radar until you get Chansey. And then get a chain of chances going and try to catch all of them because they have a chance of getting a lucky egg. I have two currently, but you only really need one. So do that. Just do a pokey radar chain and catch a bunch of chances to get the lucky egg. So what I did to level up my Moltres really fast is fly all the way to Sunny Shore City. So you're going to want to bike to the route, route 222, which is just left of Sunny Shore City. And go over to these two trainers so that this fisherman and this rich boy are here. You're going to want to use the Versus Seeker, and either none of them, one of them, or both of them will get the exclamation points. If you battle them, and you have the double XP from uh, not your own Moltres and the Lucky Egg, this guy's Luxray will give you about 5,700 experience each time you kill it. And then this guy's two Gyaradoses, the first one will give you 5,100, and the second one will give you 5,500 experience. That is a really easy way to level up fast. So just loop around there. Once they're done, you just do a little loop around here like so and if you take this specific route you don't ru you don't run into anyone and then you use the versus seek again and it's refreshed every time so just do that also you get a lot of money from battling this guy he gives you nine thousand each time and if you have amulet coin obviously it gives you more but we're here for the experience not the money so after that what you're going to want to do is when your moltres has an attack stat of about mine has 287 which is enough I'd say probably between 280 or just 280 and up is probably good enough. If you want to be safe, I would do 285 or up, but 287 works for me. This Moltres is a mild nature, which ups its special attack, which is good. I also gave it 10, um, I believe it's calciums that boosts its special attack stat that gives it 10 attack stat EVs, which uh, don't quote me if it's calcium, it might not be, but the whatever boosts the special attack. So I gave it 10 of those, which is 100 EVs, and those are easy to get, especially if you're battling this rich boy, because he gives you tons of money, and then you can go and buy all the vitamins you need. So just give him the 10 special attack boosting EV vitamins, and then level them up as high as you can. Try to get the attack stat above 
280. But you want to go to Pastoria City and you're going to want to have a heart scale on you. I forgot to mention, you get the vitamins from the Veilstone City Marts, the department store. So it's like, I think it's the fourth floor. Just go there, buy as many as you need. You'll have a ton of money from battling that rich boy. Next, you're going to want to do is fly over to Pastoria City and go over to this house. You're going to want to have a heart scale. You're going to want to talk to this guy. I can't do it now because I already did it, but you're going to want to re have Moltres relearn the move Fire Spin. Now, Fire Spin is kind of crappy in this game. It's a lot better. It got a buff in Gen 5, same with Whirlpool, that it only has a base power of 15 and an accuracy of 70, which you don't really want to be relying on that pretty bad accuracy, and power 15 is trash. But they buffed it in Gen 5. I believe it's now a power of 35 and an accuracy of 85, which is way better. But for now, we're going to have to deal with this because this is Gen 4. So what you're going to want to do is fly over to Veilstone City because this is the way to boost its accuracy by 7 points. So it'll have a 77% accuracy. And then you're going to want to go to the game corner and you're going to want to buy coins. Now, it shouldn't be that hard. You want to get a thousand coins. Just go over here, buy coins. You're going to have a lot of money, like I said. And just get a thousand coins. You can buy 500 each time. Just buy two sets of that for 20,000. And then go over to the prize thing. And you're going to want to buy. Oh, not that. You're going to want to buy the wide lens, not the zoom lens. The zoom lens boosts its accuracy more, but you have to go last. So it doesn't work because your Moltres is definitely going to be faster than the Clefairies. So you're going to want to buy the wide lens, which boosts the accuracy of the move by 10% of the move's accuracy, which means if it's 70%, it'll make it, it'll boost it by 7% because 7 is 10% of 70. So you're going to want to have, let me take, oh, I have the wide lens on it. You're going to want to give Moltres the wide lens because we need all the accuracy we can get. And that's probably the best you can get. I also forgot to mention, you want to give your Moltres a non-damage dealing move, which could be anything. It could be... Uh, Roost, I have Sunny Day on mine. Anything that doesn't do damage to the opposing Pokemon because there's a chance that the Knockout Challenge could require you to use a total of like 9 or 10. I'm not sure what the max is, but sometimes it requires you to use a lot of moves and you have to be exact. So once you get to like the last Clefairy, just stall it out with a bunch of non-attacking moves until you get the moves you need. Okay, after you have all your Pokemon ready, you have your Thief Pokemon, you have your Moltres with a damage dealing move, fire spin and a non-damage dealing move you're gonna want to attempt this and today's five made knockout challenge the target number is six so the lowest it can be is five like i said before and that means you basically have to just use fire spin every turn and hope to not miss but fire spin at a 287 space uh, special attack for moltres should knock out every clefairy in one hit it's guaranteed to you just can't miss but since this challenge is six turns, what you're going to want to do, because you don't want to miss at all, is basically use your 100% accurate damage dealing move, which is Flamethrower in my case, and just use that until the Clefairies use Endure. Once a Clefairy uses Endure, and it can use it multiple times in a row, that's when you're going to want to start using your, your Fire Spin. So hopefully one of them endures so I can show you how it works. So they're just going to keep coming in and out. You're going to want to battle five of them. And right now, I want to do it in six turns, but it can be different. So hopefully one of these things uses Endure, so I can show you how that works. And so far, none of them have, but it's good. It's good when none of them use Endure. You're always going to want to use Fire Spin on the last Clefairy in case it uses Endure. Um, if it comes down to it where you one hit KO every single Clefairy in one turn... Just uh, use Sunny Day or your non-damage dealing move to stall out that last turn you need, and then use Fire Spin to finish it off. But if it does use, if the Clefairy uses Endure midway through, just use Fire Spin from then on out. So there we go. The Clefairy used Endure, and now this is going to bring it down to 1 HP. Now we got to not miss the Fire Spin, which we did. So at that point, you're just going to want to reset. That's the only thing you can do. But it's better than trying trial and error just using a non or just a damage dealing move every time and hope it never uses Endure because it's probably going to happen with five Clefairies. Like there's five Clefairies and they each have four moves. So you odds are you're going to get at least one Endure. So let's just try it again. We got to hope to not miss. Now that's the only problem with Fire Spin is that it's got a pretty low accuracy. 
So that's why we got the wide lens. We just gotta hope for the best. It's all RNG. <laughs> So let's see. So she says, congratulations, you have defeated four maids so far, you have taken four turns up to now, and the target is six, which means I have to beat this person in two turns. And the only way to do that, because I'm going to one-shot it no matter what attacking move I do, unless it uses Endure, but we're not going to leave it up to chance, we're going to want a Sunny Day. Use our non-attacking move. And then hope that Fire Spin hits. So there's Sunny Day, and he uses Metronome, Flash Cannon. I don't care about that. And now we're going to have to use Fire Spin. And Fire Spin did hit, and it is boosted by Sunny Day, so it'll kill no matter what. But it should have killed anyway. And we beat it in six turns. So you beat the five maids. You got it all done in the number of turns. So now you have to battle this person and steal their rare candy. The problem with this is that their Blissey has the move Fling. And when they use Fling... They can chuck the rare candy at you, and it'll get rid of the rare candy altogether. So, this is also a random chance situation. So, you gotta switch to your Thief, because Moltres can't learn Thief. You gotta switch to your Thief Pokemon, and hope they don't use Fling on the first turn. If they don't, then you're good. If they do, you gotta reset and start over again. So, let's hope it doesn't use Fling. If it does, we're screwed, and we have to restart. But, I mean, let's be optimistic. Okay, it flung its rare candy, so we have to restart now. That's why you save before the maids, because it can do stuff like that. But the Blissey learns a ton of moves. I think it has Sing, too, which is also really annoying. But, yeah, you don't want to give your Pokemon any berries or anything, because it needs to be able to steal the the rare candy so let's start it to start this over again i'm gonna speed through this and get back to the blissey trainer as you can see here i got it it used endure twice but the fire spin the vortex kills it after just had to show that off because I hadn't had a chance to show that off yet. So, Endure braces itself, and it can use Endure multiple times. So, after it uses Endure the first time, you're only going to want to use Fire Spin. And then the Vortex kills it. So, that's how you get past the Endures. So, I forgot to mention this because I wasn't aware of it, but the Clefairies can get Bounce. And Bounce screws you up big time. This is a really annoying challenge. So, the whole this whole challenge is RNG-based. So, it's supposed to be really hard and tedious, and this this video is showing you how to increase your chances of beating it. Um, I, right now, am getting very unlucky, and every time I get everything perfectly, like, working out, it, the last Clefairy uses Bounce and it screws it up, or my Fire Spins are missing. So, just keep working at it, you'll get in an area where it just is not working out for you but keep trying you'll eventually get it it shouldn't take that long because you have a very much higher chance of hitting fire spin than you do missing it and the clefairy has a much higher chance of using any of its other moves besides bounce i believe it has endure metronome bounce and i'm unsure what the third what the fourth move is but yeah just keep working at it this has taken me a little bit to do because i'm getting very unlucky but as you saw before, it took me one try to get to the the Blissey trainer. I just got unlucky with them using Fling. So keep this in mind. It can get really annoying. But this is the fastest way to get rare candies. <laughs> oh, Meteor Mash. That's the fourth move. There we go. Yes. So there we go. I finally beat them. I was getting so unlucky. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't take as long as it took me. As you can see, the first time, it took me a first try to get to the trainer. This one, I got really unlucky. It was just the moves they were using and the the accuracy of, fi of Fire Spin. But we pulled through. So now we just got to pray that this Blissey does not use Fling. And it's a different guy. It's either the guy or the girl you battle. But you got to pray that the Blissey doesn't do Fling. Because 
Moltres doesn't get the move thief. It'd be really nice if it did, but it doesn't. And then I tried, I was thinking about using Smeargle for this challenge, but Smeargle is not strong enough to to get past the Clefairies, even at level 100. So let's just hope it uses anything but Fling. And it used Defense Curl, so we're good. So now all you gotta do is Thief, and my Rattata is faster, and you steal the rare candy. And, I mean, we only get 1,400 with the double XP sharing it with the Rattata, because it's only level 35, but you get the rare candy, that's the prize. And it'll tell you to come back tomorrow. Yep, I beat Master Lin. So now you just go over to your, your Thief, which is my Rattata, and you just take the rare candy. And look at that, you have a rare candy now. Um, yes, it can be pretty tedious. I currently have, I think, three rare candies now. But what you can do now is come over here. You want to go outside. I think you can go out the back way anyway. You're going to want to save. And then you're going to want to change your your DS time to either a different day or just 11.59 at night. And then once it goes over, you want to stay out here until the time goes over to midnight. And then go back in and you can redo it. So do, I, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do it on this 3DS. I'm going to do it on my DS because I'm doing Join Avenue shenanigans on my black version. And I don't want that to get screwed up. So that's basically it. So you just rinse and repeat. You just change the clock. Um on your DS to 11.59 at night every time, um, it's 23.59 if you aren't familiar with military time, um, and then wait, once you stand out here, wait for it to turn midnight, go back in, and then do the challenge again, depending on how many moves it is, you gotta adjust your battle a little bit, but not much, so that's all it is to it, like, I got two rare candies really fast, this is way faster than, uh, grinding the battle tower for bp and i'm pretty sure it's faster than grinding a pokemon for um pickup because i think they have a pretty low chance pickup is way more overpowered in gen 3 that's another way to do it i might get into that later but i've seen tutorials on that before where you just get a bunch of zigzagoons and ruby and sapphire version have them use pickup just battle a bunch of pokemon with, and then get you get rare candies at a pretty high chance and then you can transfer them up to this game so yeah, that is it. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination, and I will see you in the next video.